Hey Woodbridge, hope you're having a great week this week. And you know what? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Especially here at the church. As I'm speaking to you, it's Tuesday here at Woodbridge. And we have a team of amazing servants uh, transforming God's house to look Christmassy in honor of the coming of our Savior Jesus, right? A few things happening here. By the way, prepare your heart for Christmas. I hope you're beginning to do that. All of us are starting to put Christmas trees up. We're starting to put Christmas lights up. We're, we're preparing our homes for Christmas. My desire as your pastor is to be preparing your hearts for Christmas. Uh, last Sunday, I shared with you uh, a message about Jesus being so masterful at being able to hit the brakes on life and being able to stay in balance for many people, they say that Christmas is the busiest time of the year, as well as the most wonderful time of the year. My prayer for you is that as you're looking at your calendar and saying, this is going to be busy, spend time with the Lord. Spend time with the Lord in these next four weeks. Spend time with Jesus. Follow what Christ does and notice how he slips away and spends time with God calming his heart in the presence of God. I pray that you would do that this year. This next Sunday, I'm going to be teaching about, you know, as we prepare our hearts for Christmas, there are certain things that we need to do to prepare our hearts for Jesus. And John the Baptist teaches us about this, as he is the one who comes to prepare the way of the Lord. Next Sunday, I'm going to be speaking about our need to search our hearts and see if there's anything in our lives that's displeasing to the Lord, testing ourselves and asking God, Lord, is there anything in there? It's called repentance. It's a spiritual discipline of repentance and confession of sin. This, this very intimate time that believers in Jesus need to spend as we constantly cleanse ourselves out before the Lord. Don't miss this Sunday. Hey, and don't miss Saturday. Saturday is going to be a, a wonderful, crazy event. At 5.30 here at the church, we're going to be having a tree lighting, okay? And then from the tree lighting, we're going to be having a Christmas concert. And then from the Christmas concert, we're going to be having a Christmas party all this Saturday, December the 2nd. Now, for all of you that's involved, on the 1st at 6 o'clock, the children are going to be coming for a rehearsal. And the uh, adults come at 7 for a rehearsal. All stagehands need to be here. Friday is the big rehearsal. Saturday is the big concert. Don't miss this Saturday. A few things also happening the following Sunday we're going to be having a very special Christmas party for the Four Seasons Fellowship. It'll be here at 11 o'clock on Friday the 8th. Oh, oh by the way you know what too if you're parents and you need some time to uh, maybe have a date night maybe to go shopping together as mom and dads on Friday December the 8th we're going to be having a parent night out. Contact Thena and Chris and you can drop off your kids here at the church that Friday. They'll be watching your kids while you guys go out and go shopping, go have a date, something like that, whatever you need. Balance, we're trying to stay in balance through the Christmas season, right? My brother, right, my sister. For all of you that are members at Woodbridge, the church vote is gonna be this Sunday, right after the, the service. So FYI on that, please stay afterwards to vote on the budget and the goals for next year. That was at the information meeting a few weeks ago. This Sunday coming up, uh, Mike's class is going to be continuing. Uh, Pastor Mike, uh, the youth and the uh, young adults, all that's happening this Sunday. It's going to be a great weekend. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Are you ready? It's coming. This Saturday is going to be a wonderful event for preparing your heart for Christmas. Next Sunday, good teaching on preparing our hearts for the coming of the, of the Savior. Look forward to seeing you this week. God bless you, Woodbridge. Take care. Bye-bye.